Hello everyone, welcome back to The Pastry Warden. My name is Chef Andre Ward. Today I will be giving a demonstration on how to make pastry cream. And at the end of my demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to use it to enhance my buttery and flaky croissants. You're gonna to wanna to see this, so stick around to the end of the video. Let's get into the recipe. Before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. Here we have one pint or 480 milliliters of milk. I have some vanilla paste, or you can use uh, vanilla beans, or if you don't, can't find vanilla beans, use a pure vanilla extract, and uh, we'll get into that later. I have 30 grams or one ounce of cornstarch, four ounces or 115 grams of sugar, one fourth teaspoon or one gram of salt. I added it to the sugar. I have two eggs and I have two ounces or 55 grams of unsalted butter. Now some people ask why I use um, eggs instead of just the egg yolks. You do have the option of using uh, all egg yolks if you want to. All egg yolks will make the mixture richer and creamier. Um, however, you can also substitute for whole eggs. If you want to save on cost, if you don't feel like cracking open a whole bunch of eggs just to get egg yolks, uh, this is a great alternative. This will also make your, bat, your pastry cream a lot thicker. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pour a little bit of, well, majority of the milk, I would say about 75% of it inside of a pot. I'm gonna reserve the rest of this milk for mixing my other ingredients, okay? I'm also gonna add a little bit of this vanilla paste. We don't need a lot, this paste is concentrated. And while that is coming to a boil, you're gonna combine all your rest of your ingredients in a bowl. Got my sugar, I got my cornstarch, salt. I'm gonna whisk that together. I'm also gonna add my eggs and get out a mix just to break it up some. And then I'm gonna add the remainder of my milk. The milk is gonna help everything blend well together. Pastry cream is one of those basic techniques that every chef or anyone that has anything to do with cooking they should know. Uh, it has so many applications. It can be thinned out to make a sauce. It can also be used as a base for souffles, your fruit tarts, fillings for cream puffs or eclairs. The milk has come to a boil. And now I'm gonna do what's called tempering the egg mixture. So first I'm gonna take a, uh, a wet rag. And I'm going to stir and slowly pour in most of my hot milk mixture. Don't just pour it in at one time, all at one time, because you can cook the eggs. The eggs will coagulate, and then what you'll have is scrambled eggs. What I'm gonna do next is strain my mixture back into the pot. Medium high heat, we're gonna keep stirring until it starts to thicken. Now that's done, we're gonna turn the heat back on. And the next part is to cook, bring to a boil and cook, up, cook out all the starch, okay, in this mixture. This looks good to me. It's, you can see the mixture is bu bubbling. So what I'm gonna do now is taste. Taste is king. Just cause a recipe says bring it to a boil doesn't mean that it's done. You wanna taste to see if you um, cooked out all of the starches in this mix. Oh, that's nice. Luscious. The salt in this recipe really bring, uh, enhances the sweetness. 
It gives it like, almost like it's creamy buttery flavor. I don't know. And speaking of butter, guess what we're about to do now? The butter's gonna make it rich and give it some shine. Uh, so add a little bit at a time. You do not want the butter to just melt in there and separate. We're trying to emulsify the butter into the mixture. We're going to pour this prepared pastry cream on the pan that was lined with plastic wrap. We're gonna spread this out on the plastic wrap. We want to put the plastic wrap directly on the surface because it has that starch in it. As the starch dries, you will form a dry skin on top of your product. So cover it up with plastic wrap directly on the surface. The next and most important step is to place this in the freezer for 15 minutes. No less than 15 minutes. Yes, I said freezer. We want to prevent any bacteria from forming in this product. If you all have been following me on social media, y'all know I posted pictures of my flaky and buttery croissants. Um, all the replies and the comments were astonishing in my eyes. And yes, those croissants were everything and more of what y'all imagined it'd be, but it can become overwhelming. Yes. I know a lot of you are probably saying in your mind, hey, pastry warden, it's no doggone way I can ever get tired of eating a buttery and flaky croissant. But I can tell you right now, after eating as many as I did, yes, you can. But anyway, check out what I got in store for y'all right now. Mm. Don't mind the flakes in my beard. It's worth it. If you got a beard, let it, just let it get all in there. The butter in there will add shine to your beard. <laughs> chocolate on my fingers. Oh, what am I gonna do? I ch chocolate on my fingers. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna Oh! Mmm! 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 Mmm!